Hi, everybody. Uh, it's Brian Seidensticker with Taxo Resources. Um, I've got with me today uh, Brad Norman. He's with GoGo Real Estate and and a well seasoned investor in the in the tax sale space. Uh, welcome, Brad. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Brian. So we were we were just talking about, um, and I don't. Uh, I guess I'm gonna ask you to repeat some of that, but we we're just talking about some of the. Um, I'll say positive impacts uh, that that tax sale investors have on on communities, and and it certainly sounds like you've got a couple perfect examples of that. Uh, basically, yeah. taking properties from um, I'll, I'll say teardowns or near teardowns, uh, where maybe the the city or the county was looking at demoing the property, um, it wasn't producing any taxable income. Probably was a, um, a gathering place for for I don't know. Uh, illegal activity, maybe I don't know. Yeah, um, and took that property, uh, rehabbed it, uh, remodeled it into beautiful home that it or, or multifamily, whatever the situation. Um, you know, and it and is obviously creating both taxable income, housing, and, and jobs along the way. So, I guess, um, Brad, can you I guess give us a couple examples of where you where you've actually successfully completed a situation like that? So one of them was uh, uh, one we were discussing is uh, in Lake County, Indiana. Uh, it was a uh, commissioner's sale, which is obviously a uh, commissioner's sale is basically on a property in, uh, in the first sale it doesn't get sold. So it's like no one wants it. So what the county do, uh, nine months later, they're, they're trying to resell the properties at a, low, a lower amount to get it off the tax roll and back on the tax roll. Uh, it was a uh, six unit multifamily apartment. Uh, it was boarded up. The grass was about seven foot tall. Um, it had, uh, you know, like you say, illegal activities. There was people squatting in here, and and it was in pretty bad shape. And the houses, there was houses around it, which were elderly people still living in, and it was a, not a bad neighborhood. It was opposite a park. Uh, I went to the tax sale and the commissioner sale. No one bid on it, and I got it for fifteen hundred bucks. So and then I want to help, uh, I guess, the listeners um, yeah. or the readers uh, understand commissioner sale, like you mentioned, right? And in Indiana, this is a situation where it went to a standard tax sale, and in Indiana, you're buying a lien on the property, yeah. right? So you're not you're not even bidding on the property, and 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 so you're bidding, you know, minuscule percentages of what typically is a property worth, you know, and is somebody willing to invest in that lien? And you're saying nobody. Uh, nobody was willing to, to invest a couple thousand bucks in these properties. You know, so yeah. past that went to the commissioner sales. This is pretty rough stuff. And, and um, we'll show some pictures here for, for a few folks, but um, anyway, so you, you went to the commissioner sale, you, uh, you're able to purchase the property and, and then what? So as we, when we, once we go away, we had to wait the free, uh, I think it was three months uh, before we could actually get the deed to the property. They still give the uh, owner, you know, three months to pay their, you know, the taxes to get it back. Obviously, no one did pay their taxes. So in three months, we uh, we got the deed to the property, and um, then we started renovating it. And you know, we spoke to the city about it, what we wanted to do. Uh, there was a there was some um, there was a demo order on the building, um, but we got that removed based on just saying, no, this is what we're going to do with it. You know, we're gonna we're gonna renovate it. We're gonna put it back on the tax roll. Um, we're gonna put you know, it's gonna be a low income housing, and it's gonna take take this nuisance building off the streets really. So the city was planning on completely demoing it. They're ready yeah. to wash their hands of it. Uh, yeah. Initially. Okay. And obviously cost their money to demo it, doesn't it? They're going to right. pay for the demo it down. They're losing tax revenue. Now they've got a piece of land. So they were more than happy that we were going to renovate it. Um, and we used, a, you know, the other thing we did, we created jobs. You know, we used a local electrician, a local plumber, a local GC. And, uh, you know, over about six month period, we completely renovated it. And um, even now it's fully let. And we've still got people bringing us to see if we, you know, want to rent any, rent any, rent any, rent any rooms. So it's back on the tax roll. It's renovated. We got, uh, we got some Section Eight tenants in now. A single, single pair, single mothers in now, and um, regular tenants in now. And yeah, it's full. So city are really happy that we've, we've, you know, brought out. Neighbors are happy. And when we was re renovating it, all the neighbors were coming out, shaking our hand, going, you know, thank God someone's bought this building and done something with it. You know, there was drug dealers going on in there, and people were squatting in there, and all sorts. And you know, it's now it's a great, great looking building. And just just shows you know what you can do for a tax sale exactly well that's awesome so you, you mentioned um you're able to to put single mothers in there how much how much money do you think you spent um you know re remodeling the property while while you were doing that uh including the purchase price and legal fees and stuff we've done two hundred fifty thousand renovating it 
Okay, so two hundred fifty thousand went to um, you know local yeah attorneys, local uh, contractors, right? Yeah. Yeah, electricians. So um, obviously um, income into the community. Yeah. Um, as well as, uh, you know, obviously, since it was on the, the tax sale list, wasn't producing any taxable income. And, and so what was what what are the yearly taxes on that? Um, now? Oh, without looking at the paperwork, I think it's about three grand a year. OK, Not so from that. zero to additional three thousand a year that go to obviously the local schools, local fire department, exactly, um, yeah. department whatever the, the taxes are used for there. And this was in uh, Gary, Indiana, correct? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Like you said, that was $250,000 invested in the community to get the building back up to scratch you, using local trades. And, you know, it's, it's really putting these buildings back on the tax roll. So, and investing in the community, it's, n- it's no longer a blighted building that everyone's scared of walking past, you know? Right, right. And so you're you're planning on on holding that property long-term. It's not like you were looking to, to flip it real quick, right? Yeah, we, t- we, tend to, uh, we tend to look for bigger deals now and the tax sales, multifamily mainly, or, or even commercial space. And I, you know, our goal is to, you know, renovate and put them back on the tax roll and then keep them as a long-term asset for, for us at Gogo Real Estate. Excellent. So do you plan on, on doing this again in, in Gary or surrounding? Yeah, areas? yeah, no, we will do it. Now we've built, now we've built relationships and this is what it's about. You know, we've built relationships with, with trades and contractors, you know, uh, we would, if, the, if another one comes up, we do it again, definitely. And, and we're in with the local housing authority now and people like that. So, you know, it's worked out really well building these, these relationships in that, in that town. Was this was this your first property in in the Gary Indiana area? Uh, yeah, this was my first property in Gary Indiana. I did do another building uh, a, a year before, similar building in a, a town called Elkhart, Indiana, which is uh, just down the road. It was another commissioner sale, similar story. It was a this was an eight unit apartment building. Uh, I'll sh- we can show some pictures of it. It was completely derelict. Uh, same problem again. It was it was only like three blocks from the main the main high street in Elkhart. But they had uh, squatters in there, like kids in there messing around, all the windows were put through, had a demolition order on it. And at this commissioner sale, uh, like you say, the second chance sale where they, they put stuff back on to try and get rid of it, the opening bid for every parcel, uh, every lien, it was $50. And uh, I went to the auction and it was the biggest property in the auction. Most of the properties were land and houses. And I thought, oh, there's going to be, you know, loads of people looking at this, this place. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, I, I, I put my I put my paddle up, fifty dollars, next lot. No one bid against me. No. Yeah. So you, so it was in such rough shape, nobody was even willing to bid, pay fifty dollars no. for this property. No. Is it, is it um, so you said similar? So you, you bought it, you know, it sounds also similar. It was on the demolition list, yeah. you were able to get it Demolition. off the list. And then um, you've you have remodeled it, you're in the Yeah, remodeled it. Yeah. So it was on it was on the, on the demo list, even though it did it wasn't in that bad a shape that the structure was fine. It just it was a nuisance and the city were just gonna bulldoze it, you know, because of the issues. Uh, I had to go to the city, give them a business plan, and this is what I'm planning on doing. You know, we're gonna renovate it, we're gonna spend this amount of money on it. And they said, Well, once you start the renovation, we'll we'll put the demo on hold. Once you start the renovation, then we'll take it off. Um we spent, we actually did that through COVID, uh, that renovation. So we, we went for all the problems of, you know, not being able to get kitchen cabinets, not being able to get flooring because the factory was shut down. Uh, so it was, it was, a, it was a, it was a pain getting that done. Um, but you know, it's now done. Uh, it produces around 8,000 a month in income. Uh, we spent about between 350 and 400,000 renovating that, um, it was just, it was similar to Gary, uh, except for uh, except for we actually tore the wall tore the walls out back to the studs, we insulated it, we plumbed it, we let you know let do electrical work, brand new roof on it. It was a bit bit more of a project, but again that was you know that was close to four hundred thousand dollars invested in the community again. You know we right. create jobs, you know we create jobs. We've uh, also built uh, contacts there. Uh, we've now got eight really nice apartments that are fully let. You know we've got a queue of people who want to rent on full up. And um, and we've and we're working the city. We're actually working the city to do another one now. So, excellent. So you have a so you have a second property going down and yeah, in second property car. that we bought as well from a tax sale. A bit more money, but it wasn't a commission of sale. It was a the, it was a, just a normal um, uh, first chance lien sale. But we waited a year and we got it. But so yeah, we've got another one being renovated now, and it's it, it's the, everyone's happy that this building's back on the tax roll. It's cleaned the whole street up because it was obviously a, a, an eight unit. If you see the pictures, it was an eight unit. All the houses are nice down the road and you've got this big eight unit apartment building like just like ghetto you know wow 
So in you, um, Brad Gogo does this um, not just in those like you've done projects in in other states, other areas across the yeah. country, right? Yeah, I've done stuff in uh, I've done stuff in uh, Washington, Arkansas, uh, Maryland, uh, Indiana. Uh, where else? That's right. Yeah, so it's, yeah. Um, many different communities that you're yeah same same model right or same concept yeah. going you buy the the worst house on a decent street put money into the property you know, hire yeah. local contractors get it into a, a nicer position it obviously is is producing tax oh speaking of which the the Elkhart property I guess what what kind of tax income is that producing for the county now uh that's a bit more money. I think that they do. They do. Uh, I think they have two. They have a spring and a fall tax bill, okay. and I think it's about two thousand in the spring and two thousand in the fall was around that. So again, um, I might it might be a bit short. It might be a bit more to two and a half. But again, they were getting no income at all in that building. Now they're getting five thousand, roughly five thousand, probably in tax a year, on a building that was getting nothing, and it's taken a blight, blight building off the streets. You know, that's excellent. Yeah, that's excellent. excellent. Well, Brad, I appreciate uh, the stories. I'm sure you've got many more. Um, I'm off to bug you another day for sure. some of those stories. And um, I look forward to, to talking to you again. And, and thank you. No problem. Thanks, Brian.